Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. X times X times X plus X equals 130. Okay, um, what do we do first? This times this times this will be X to the power of 3 plus x okay this is negative 130 that's negative that is equal to negative 130 now the next thing is to bring this to the left okay so if we do that we will have x to the power of 3 plus x this will become plus 130 this is equal to zero because nothing is on the right hand side again right okay so the next step if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so you can have more of my videos okay so the next step for me is to write this in this form okay i want to write this in this form i mean the form of these two i have to break this into two so i have x to the power of three plus x then plus this 130 is 125 plus 5 and that is equal to 0 now so now do you know that this can now be in this form so we have x to the power of 3 plus x then plus 125 is 5 to the power of 3 then plus 5 and everything equals zero let us regroup so we have x to the power of three this is coming over as we have plus five to the power of three then i have plus x which is this plus five and everything equals zero i'm going to simplify this and this separately okay okay so if you have a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 this is the same thing as a plus b into a squared minus a b plus b squared okay so this is what this means now in place of this i'm going to express this in this form so a plus b is now x plus 5 okay into a squared that will be x squared minus a b that will be x times 5 and that is 5x then plus b squared that will be 5 squared and it's 25 okay so i will close this then plus i already have 5 plus 5 so we have sorry we have x plus 5 rather okay in that bracket and everything is equal to 0 now if you look at this and this x plus 5 is common so we will factorize x plus 5 out so here we have x squared plus 5x plus 25 close then plus this divided by itself will give 1 and then we equate to 0 x plus 5 is still a common factor then here we have this plus 1 so that would be x squared plus 5x plus 26 okay then we equate to 0 25 plus 1 is 26 now we are going to equate either of these to 0 so x plus 5 is equal to 0 because we are multiplying both of them to get 0 then x is equal to minus 5 okay this is one of the solutions now let's go to the other factor there x squared plus 5x plus 26 x squared plus 5x plus 26 equals 0 
So we are going to deal with that very quickly. X is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. This is called quadratic general formula. Now take note of my A, B, C. So our X will now be equal to, we have um, in place of minus B, write minus 5, meaning that our B is 5. Then plus or minus square root of the same 5 squared. Then minus 4 times A times C, because C is 26 and A is 1. A is the coefficient of X squared and C is the constant. We divide this by 2 times 1. Okay, so let's continue. So we have X to be equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25. Okay, because 5 squared is 25, then minus 4 times 6 is 24. Is 24. Then 4 times um, 2 is 8. And that will give 10. So we have 104. Then we divide all of this by 2. That is 2 times 1 will still give us 2. Okay, so let's continue with this. Okay, so our x will now be minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 104 is minus 70, minus 79. Okay, so we divide this by 2. Now, let's continue. Okay, so our x will now be minus 5 plus or minus. This negative here will give us i because square root of negative 1 is i. Then we have root 79. I don't want us to have decimal, so let's leave it at that. Then we divide by 2. So this is now a 21 solution, right? Let's get the three solutions together. The first one we got is x1 to be equal to minus 5, right? Then our x2 is right from here. So I will pick negative 5 plus i root, root 79 divided by 2. Remember, I picked the positive first. So our x3 will now be negative. So we have negative 5. This turns to negative i root 79 as we divide by 2. So from here, we have um, the three solutions to this um, very equation. x multiplied by x multiplied by x plus x equals negative 130. Thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed, it is not too late, subscribe to my channel now that you can still hear me. Thank you for watching.